You got a broken B6. This is what it looks like, let's say. There are eight screws that you need to take out, four on the arm, four on the body. Start with the body down over here and just work your way up. Get all the screws out. They're on the table. And the drone is now ready to pull out. We have a plug we can unplug. And this is the obstacle avoidance. It's clipped on. It simply snaps back into place. The shell over here is softer than here. Go over and inspect all around. Make sure everything's there. If this keeps popping out, you can put a little glue there. Just a little bit. CA glue would do fine. Whenever and wherever you crash. So say the drone crashed over here. Leave it there. And you need to go find parts like the LED cover or the white washer. You're going to look around the drone further and further. So let's say you need to go somewhere else. Put a marker there so you could come back and look. Don't just pick the drone up and move it because you're not going to find your parts. This drone is unrepairable from the body because it's missing a post. And now we have to figure out how to make a post. A set screw. I may not have one but I'm gonna find one. So I'm gonna put everything back together again. But remember, these white washers, they move. So you have to make sure when you put these on, either the drone stays closed, all the arms, or they stay open and press the body together to make sure they stay locked. I'm gonna match up now all my cables. Each of the arms can be removed. They are color coded with the leads only and not the port. So number them if you remove them. I'm going to start to piece part this all together again. Hopefully I got the cover on correctly. If this doesn't go on, then I have to remove it. It looks like it snaps into place. I want to lift up and make sure that my arms, like I say, are fully extended, every single one. I hold it nice and firmly. I have play. I have play. I don't have play. This one is on correct, and these two are not. These all got notches on top, then they fit into the notches over here, the washers. If they don't fit in, you're going to have issues. So this one has to go into the inner hole and the inner hole, these two top pieces. Oh, like I said, it's going to take you a long time to get them to snap into place 100%. So I do need to tighten this one up just a little bit more. Now, the only way I could fix this one into the body correctly is to torse it back in, get myself a set screw that I think is long enough, look for the hole, Wind up the hole just a little bit. And screw in. Don't want to damage any wires. Watch out for the top. I'm good to go. Now it won't come out because I got a screw in, but it's loose. Now how do we fix that? Well, 
how can we hold this on? I like to take a rubber band, wrap it around the arm. You may say it's going to interfere with the camera. I'm going to go for a flight. Look at me. There's my spare drone. That transmitter goes with that one. And this is a good battery. I know somebody's going to ask me that question. Can I pair different drones to different drones? Let's go for a flight. It's a little breezy. I'm going to go put it down. That's the rubber band. That's the repaired one. As you can see, right? The little screw, my thumb. It's all repaired, man. Just like that. Turns, moves, flies. I hope you enjoyed this repair review of the XR KC. Ooh, the XKRC B6. Got so many names. Enjoy the product.